वेलकम फॉर दिस सेशन दिस इज द फर्स्ट सेशन ऑन फ्यूचर्स एंड ऑप्शंस आई हैव बीन गेटिंग रिक्वेस्ट्स एंड रिकमेंडेशंस फ्रॉम लॉट ऑफ पीपल सिंस अ लॉन्ग टाइम दैट सर व्हाई डोंट यू टेक फ्यूचर्स एंड ऑप्शंस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम बेसिक्स यू वांट टू नो व्हाट इज फ्यूचर्स एंड ऑप्शंस एंड हाउ वी कैन मेक मनी आउट ऑफ दैट एंड सो हियर वी आर ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट सेशन ऑन फ्यूचर्स एंड ऑप्शंस एंड इफ यू लाइक इट आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू नॉट ओनली लाइक दिस वीडियो बट आल्सो शेयर दिस विद योर फ्रेंड्स और यू कैन आल्सो कमेंट बिलो व्हाट यू लाइकड इट and also don't forget to uh, press the bell icon on this so this is parish ram desai from sankar baby venture and uh, welcome to this first video on futures and options okay so what is this futures and options it is quite uh, intriguing to people who are like new into the market what is the futures options futures kya hai options kya hai call kya hai put kya hai and sometimes if there is no proper guidance then people fall trapped to some uh, channels which are there on instagram or or uh, you know some other places where they do suggest you buy a call buy a put and then they find that they could be in profit for some time and then most of the times they are in end, end up in loss okay that is because there is no proper study of when you should be buying those instruments right so in futures and options there are three instruments basically in futures there is only futures but when we get comes to options there is in a multi dimension one is called as a call and one is called as a put so futures and options basically is nothing but a derivatives contract so what do you understand by derivatives so derivatives means the value of the contract comes from the underlying okay it derives from the underlying there is some underlying base on the basis of which these contract values go up so basically futures and options are what they are contracts you cannot buy them and keep it in your demat account like how you can buy equity and put it in your demat account right because when you buy equity shares you pay the money entire full 100% and then the value comes all those shares would come in your demat account but when it comes to futures and options those are not equity shares those are contracts the base of which would be the equity shares i hope you are getting this okay so if i say let's say reliance futures contracts so in reliance futures contracts the value of the reliance futures contract will increase if the underlying which is the reliance equity price on the spot in the market goes up right At the same time if the reliance price on the cash market comes down the reliance futures price is also going to come down so that's how it's called as a derivatives contract because these contracts get the value from the underlying okay so that is future similarly for options also calls and puts it is little different we will be we will try to understand what is a call and what is a put okay so they are also deriving the value from the underlying okay so call and put are two uh, two sides of the trade okay so whether you are a bull or a bear we will see how you can buy a call or sell a call you can buy a put or you can sell a put and you putting it up in a systematic way and you'll understand that when you should be to actually what probably either in this video if possible or in the next series i definitely i'll try to do that okay so uh, futures and uh, op options again as i said is a derivatives contract and they are leverage contracts so what do you mean by leverage in leveraging the concept simple simple concept of leverage is let us say uh, you want to buy a car of let's say 20 lakhs and you don't have entire 20 lakhs you say oh, i don't have 20 lakhs i have got probably only 4 lakh rupees okay and then you approach the bank the bank says okay don't worry we will give you the difference 16 lakhs as a loan right so you are leveraging the benefit of the loan and buying that car so in 4 lakh rupees you actually get that car and bring home okay so in this case also the similar concept is there of a margin so in the loan also what happened the banker asked you that okay you give this 4 lakh rupees a margin and balance 16 lakhs you pay up in in the installment in the form of emis okay so similarly in this case you don't pay the entire amount for the contracts for example if the reliance contract futures contract is of 250 shares and if the price of reliance is let us say 2000 rupees i'm just taking examples so 250 into 2000 would be like what 5 lakh rupees so if you bought 250 shares directly you'd have to pay 5 lakh rupees but in the contract you don't have to pay 5 lakh rupees you pay only a margin 
which could be somewhere in the range of approximately 20 percent or so so where you pay only a lakh of rupees as a margin you don't pay the entire amount okay so the entire futures concept works on the concept of margin so you pay a lakh of rupees you buy that contract okay so the contract the futures contract is the base is something which is uh, which you can relate once i give you the example of a forward contract so let us understand what is a forward contract let us say a farmer is there and he is growing his crops let's say he is growing the rice and uh, he wants to sell his rice after three months once the crop comes up right now he's just probably sown it and he wants to be sure that when the crop is ready he would like to have at least the price which is there right now okay assuming the price right now is let's say 100 rupees a kg then he thinks that after three months i don't know if the price is going to be 100 or probably it might fall to 90 then what i'll be a loser for 10 rupees right so he doesn't want that he should lose that 10 rupees if the price comes down okay but at the same time if the price goes higher he would have made money but he wants to like ensure himself that i should get at least 100 rupees per kg so what he would do is he would enter into a forward contract with a probably a wholesaler who would say okay i will come after three months and i will buy whatever rice you produce from you at 100 rupees irrespective of whatever is the price at that point of time the price may be probably 110 rupees or it could be 90 also but once the contract is made the wholesaler is going to buy from the farmer at 100 rupees only okay so both of them for them it is like they are taking a calculated risk the farmer says i don't want to take a risk if the price comes down maybe i'll lose that 90 rupees i want at least 100 rupees right and for the wholesaler if the wholesaler thinks that no when the uh, the produce actually comes in the market after three months the price is going to be more than 100 that's the reason why he would be buy, he would be making that contract for buying right so the farmer will be the seller of the contract he says okay i will sell my produce after three months <clears throat> at rupees 100 and the wholesaler is the buyer of that contract he says okay i will buy from you after three months at 100 rupees okay so that was a forward contract but there was a problem with the forward contract who would monitor it what if the farmer just managed okay then who would decide how much margin or how much deposit he should be keeping so there was no regulation in the forward contracts right so for that now the regulated market in the regulated markets what you got is the lot size is fixed okay there is some regulating authority like the mcx or the in case of commodities or the nsc and bsc who are mainly nsc when you are looking for the contracts of equity and index contracts okay so there is some regulation over there so once you come into the regulated market then your money you have to keep as a deposit means you have for example if you are if you want to buy a reliance contract let's say one contract you want to buy then you'll have to keep a margin of a lakh of rupees with the broker similarly if a seller of the contract wants to sell you the reliance uh, shares then he also has to keep a margin of equal equal amount approximately a lakh of rupees right so both the buyer as well as seller have kept their own stake with the brokers in case if there is any loss then that loss will be adjusted from that margin okay so this is how a futures contract works so this is given just you have simple con concept of how a futures works right now why you should be doing this in this video i'll be giving you a comparison between if you make profit in an equity trade what would be the percentage roi if you make and the same roi percentage how it can become multiple times in case you go for a futures contract or it can be something mind-boggling if you go for a options contract okay so let us see that what is the benefit of going for a futures and options let me share you some basic concepts about how you can take advantage of the futures and options i'm just sharing you the movement in the reliance okay so this is the chart of reliance industries 
yesterday reliance was somewhere around 2560 2570 and today it had gone to a higher for around 2733 okay so let us say somebody bought here based on the technicals analysis and other stuff what you learned so you'd buy here probably a futures and let us say after towards the end of the day the second day if somebody had sold this at say let's say 2730 or something so you buy at 2570 and sell at 2730 right so assuming that the three cases either you buy equity or futures or options let us see how the return on investment would change depending upon what instrument or vehicle you take so this is a clear understanding of how you can uh, you will be able to understand that how the return on investment changes once you go for a futures and options okay so the example of reliance industries over here i am assuming that you buy at somewhere around 2570 okay so i'm not coming into the technical part so technical part would be taken care of in the technical analysis but based on your technical part let's say you buy at 2570 and you sell at 2730 okay today and uh, the profit obviously will be 2730 minus 2570 160 rupees so if we had bought only equity shares okay only equity shares then obviously your investment was 2570 If you buy ten shares, it will be to twenty-five uh, seven hundred. Then if you be, and if you buy, let's say hundred or two hundred or three hundred, it'll go in that multiple. So I'm not going to how many shares you buy. Let us see only the return on investment. So your return on investment here is the profit divided by your investment. Your investment is two five seven zero. Your profit is one sixty. One sixty divided by two five seven zero into hundred, you get a return on investment of six percent in just two days. Wow, that's superb. Okay, six percent in two days. If you know, if you get like one trade like this in a month, it's good enough. Yes, because nowadays in your fixed deposit you would get like six percent in a year. But here, if you let let's say wait for proper opportunities and you get like six percent to ten percent in a month, good enough. Okay, sufficient enough returns on your investment. But if you are a person who thinks no i want to study this in depth want to get the full advantage of the markets i am willing to give more time towards this i am willing to study more okay give more time towards this because this is something great even my business does not give me something like this okay then the futures and options is for you so person so who is this market for right so if you see the futures and options then the person who thinks that yes i have got time first of all you should have sufficient time for the market secondly you should have an inclination and a liking for this market yes i want to study this and understand because there is a lot of money to be made but again it is based on a systematic way it is not a uh, something like to gamble upon right it's a proper business so if you treat it like a business it can give you returns much much more higher than what your probably your existing job or business is giving okay that's what the professional traders are doing right now they are trading in a professional way with proper uh, study and they are making much more than what you would be making in probably their jobs or businesses so if a person thinks that yes i have got time and i want to study that is important guys if you you should be willing to give time nothing is like free it is not like a get rich quick scheme that okay i just put out the thing and i get like a lottery no you might make money once in a while or twice twice but on a regular basis you cannot make money in the fno so futures and options you need proper study you need to get experience you need to devote that much uh, uh, time in the markets and also taking trades and getting gathering that experience and then once you get that experience once you know that there this is how this is what is working for me then that's how the system will actually start to work okay so a person who thinks that yes i want to give this only then do it secondly if you have if you don't have a risk taking appetite no i don't want to take any risk Okay, I'm good enough with let's say six percent or three percent, four percent, which I'm getting in my savings account, FD account. I don't want to take any of this. Then this is probably not for you, right? So a person who is in the business, a business-minded person would be able to think about this. So you need to work on your mindset first. Okay, the mindset is very important. So right now I'm telling you quite blankly. In in I mean it would be quite blank, but this is a reality. so you have to treat this like a business you cannot work you cannot come into the market in the fno with a, a job mentality right okay so in a job mentality what happens that the risk capital taking appetite is less but if you see an entrepreneur the risk taking appetite is there he knows that he is taking a calculated risk 
right? So for a calculated risk, the returns which he sees are much more higher than the risk which is taking. Okay, so same thing applies here. So as an entrepreneur, as a businessman, okay, you take a risk which is based on a proper study and then you will trade, right? So this is for someone who is of an entrepreneur mind and who is willing to take risks. So let us see the returns on your futures and options. So the same trade what we have seen just now would give you much more higher returns in your futures and options. Okay, so in your equity, you got 6.2% ROI. In futures, let us see what will be your ROI. Now in futures, the profit would remain the same, right? Because you'd be buying somewhere around 2570. There is normally some premium or a discount. So it could be maybe 2575 or 2573. And here it will be instead of 252730, it could be probably uh, two or three rupees more. Okay, but I'm just assuming that you're buying at this price and selling this price and the profit is around 160 rupees. Okay, now in futures, what happens is I told you the regulated market. So the lot size is fixed. The lot size would be of 250 shares. So 250 shares into 200, 250 into 160 rupees profit, your total profit becomes 40,000 rupees. Okay, so profit is 40,000 rupees. Now investment, I told you, remember that the car example, your car of 20 lakhs, you don't have to pay 4 lakh, you don't have to pay entire 20 lakhs, only 4 lakh rupees you give as a margin and you got the car. So similar concept would be there where you give the margin to the broker, which acts like a deposit. In case there is a loss, the loss would be adjusted from the margin, right? So this deposit or the margin amount is approximately 1,25,000. Okay, so 1,25,000 is your investment, your profit being 40,000. So ROI, look at this from 6.2%, same trade, same trade, absolutely no difference. You're buying and selling price is the same. But in the futures, your return on investment becomes 32%. Wow, isn't that great? And this is because of the leveraging concept, right? Because like you got a car of 20 lakhs, although you didn't have 20 lakhs, but you're in 4 lakh rupees, you're enjoying a 20 lakh car, right? So same thing here, instead of like 5 lakhs, the example which I go for Reliance, you are in enjoying the same benefit at a much lesser investment. So the ROI here becomes 32 percent. Now, if you come to options, probably you will not believe that this is the type of returns which you can make. Okay, so I'm not just only going to show you over here, but I'll also show you the options chart so that you can actually believe that this really happens. Okay, so let us go into the options chart. And in options chart, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take you to the Reliance April 2500 call. Okay, so in options, there's something in, something like a call. So look at this value. Can you see here? This is 9.15 on 19th April. And over here, this is 230 or something on, if you see the date below, it's 20th April. Right? So somebody buying, let us say around, not exactly lowest price, but let's say you buy around 90 rupees and you sell not at a probably 230, you sell around 200 rupees. Right? So I'm not taking the entire move because that's always mostly impossible that you buy at the lowest price and the sell at the highest price. So somewhere the range you get probably is 80%, 85% of the range good enough. So I'm assuming that you buy somewhere around 90 and you sell somewhere around 200. Okay. And you can see right in front of you, okay, that how this premiums have gone up. So options works on the concept of premium. So when you actually come to the options part in detail, I'll be explaining you what is an option and how the options works. So the options here is working, you bought an option at 90 rupees and selling it at 220. Okay, so let us come to the ROI concept and see that how the ROI is mind boggling something like, believe it or not, but yes, it's true. Okay, so in options, what would happen is you buy the premium at 90 rupees and sell it at 200. Okay, we saw the chart just now. So you buy it at 90 and there's the same price movement. So when the price of Reliance moved from 2570 to 2730, the options premiums went up from 85, 90 to around 200, 230, right? So I'm taking that you bought at 90 and you sold at around 200. So your profit is 110 rupees. Your investment being 90, look at the ROI. Your ROI becomes 110 divided by 90, 122%, okay? So that is the type of returns which you can get. But would these returns come every day? Probably not. Okay, but even if you get, let's say, 
uh, these type of returns once a week okay once a week you get a trade you're like you like that star, uh, like that bird who's waiting for the fish to come to the surface and once it comes up it just dive and just come out with the fish yes so if you are that type of person who's got patience who's got discipline who's got proper study and you get one trade like this every week just one trade in a week is it worth it you answer yourself whether it's worth it or not whether it's worth the time which you should be giving in the futures and options market okay so these were the three comparisons for equity for the futures and for options ranging from what just probably 6% to 122% okay this is right right now on the latest uh, trade on the reliance which we have seen and we have understood that how the futures and options can give you much 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 higher returns than only equity i compare futures and options with probably um, f1 formula 1 race drive okay so very you know on a, on a highway you'll be driving probably at 60 70 80 uh, kilometers but on a race track probably you're going at 300 and 400 uh, kilometers speed right so the same uh, move okay but your vehicle is different instead of going in a normal vehicle your vehicle changes into probably a race track a racing car ferrari the race track also changes the racing condition changes so everything changes over there so the returns which are very small and nominal in the equity would escalate to a great level when it comes to futures and options okay so this was just a comparison this is the first video on just getting you understand what is the futures and options on just on a brief and i've given you the comparison of how the returns can vary and increase multiple times when it comes to futures and options okay in the other following videos i'll be explaining more in detail what is a future what is a call what is a put when you should be buying futures and calls and puts and how you can do it in a profitable way but for that you'll have to wait for the future videos and if you want those videos then i would request you to make a uh, this a quick note over here that what exactly you would like and if you like this video if you understood that how this working is uh, actually happening then i would like you i request you to uh, like this video subscribe if you're not already done also you can share this video with your friends and i will see you in the next video thank you bye this is parish desai from sankal venture signing off bye good day